Hi, welcome back to Super Cali Land. Today I'm doing a mother-daughter day at Knott's Berry Farm with my seven-year-old daughter, Raleigh. For those of you that don't know, Raleigh does have type one diabetes and celiac disease. So a full day at a theme park can be tricky, but I am gonna share with you guys some of my tips. It is lunchtime, so I'm gonna take Raleigh over to the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel before we enter the park because you guys over at the restaurant there, Amber Ways, there is a completely gluten-free cheese or pepperoni pizza. It's a cauliflower crust and it's super yummy. We were so happy to find out that this was a celiac safe item, meaning there's no gluten cross contamination because they do have two separate ovens and one is a dedicated gluten free oven. Now the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel is going to be under construction. So Amber Waves will close sometime in the near future and then reopen to possibly with a new name. I don't know the details yet. After having some lunch, we headed into Knott's Berry Farm to meet up with some of our friends. Today is a Saturday, so Knott's Berry Farm is really busy, you guys. And Knott's Peanut Celebration is underway. If you wanna avoid the crowds, definitely try coming to Knott's Berry Farm during like a weekday morning. You'll probably walk onto almost any ride. But on weekends, Knott's Berry Farm can get really busy, especially during a seasonal event like the Peanut Celebration. So we were gonna take the kids into Camp Snoopy, but every ride is about a 30 minute wait midday when it's like at its peak crowd level so instead we're gonna head to the boardwalk if you're headed to the boardwalk through camp snoopy you will see the construction walls for fiesta village subscribe and turn on all notifications to get first look details about fiesta village opening later in 2023 and the reimagined montezuma the forbidden fortress which is debuting summer 2023 Currently the line for Supreme Scream is only 20 minutes and our friend's dad really loves the big rides and roller coasters. So we're gonna wait for him while he goes on this ride. It's so crazy for us to even watch it. Welcome to the Supreme Scream. While riding, please remain seated, keeping your head back against the headrest at all times. Thank you and enjoy your ride. Best ride ever, baby, every time. All right. Now we're gonna take the kids to the boardwalk to play some games. Throughout Nosberry Farm, you will find Everybody's a Winner games, which are perfect for the kids. You pay either seven, 15, or $20. And no matter what happens, whether your child wins or loses, they walk away with a prize. So everybody's happy. Oh, so cute. Now don't do any pies. Is it happy? Whenever you're ready. Dad's giving her some pointers. Oh. Keep going, come on, come on. Hit it, hit it, hit it. The adult version of this one is really hard, but the kids version isn't too bad. Everybody's a winner. The prize that the kids got today is the $15 prize. This game is hard. I will never forget when Declan played it for the first time and got the ball in on his first turn. All right, you got over there. Oh my what? god! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! I told you, just let him do it! 
was unbelievable. He was only six. It was so cool. Another gluten-free favorite that we get almost every time we're at Knott's Berry Farm is the popcorn. I've checked several times and it is safe for celiac. And today the Snoopy popcorn buckets are in stock. They're $15 each with unlimited refills for $2.50 each. So it's a really good value. We always bring our Snoopy popcorn bucket to the park. Now we're gonna head into Ghost Town because the kids are insisting we take them to the schoolhouse, which is so hilarious because it's a Saturday and the thing they're most excited about is going to school. The kids are super excited. They're running to the schoolhouse. They wanna go talk to the teacher. It's so fun to watch the Knots performers, especially in Ghost Town, interact with the kids. They really are so amazing with them. And the kids really feel like they're a part of the story, like they're a part of the action. And it's it's just really cool. It's one of the things about Knots I feel that people miss because they're so focused on the rides. Especially if you have kids, like definitely go into Ghost Town and explore the area and interact with some of the performers it really elevates your whole Knott's Berry Farm experience. At this point, Raleigh is pretty thirsty. And like I said, she does have type one diabetes. So I'm always looking for really yummy, uh, zero sugar drinks that don't have any caffeine. And you guys, Knott's Berry Farm does have berry punch that is sugar free. It's not at every fountain location, but I do know they have the sugar free berry punch at the fountain just under the ride berry tails. They also have it at Grizzly Creek Lodge. So those are two locations that I currently know of that do have the sugar-free berry punch if you're looking for it. This year, my favorite new attraction to the peanut celebration is definitely the exhibit Snoopy Soars with NASA. It's so cool. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the first weekend of the peanut celebration, Snoopy did not have his spacesuit. And then he had an orange spacesuit, but now his official NASA spacesuit has arrived at Knott's Berry Farm and he is wearing it. This is a really cool photo op. It is daily. So you only have a few more days to go over to Knott's and get this photo. It is so cool. And there's this amazing exhibit about Snoopy's relationship with NASA and his trip to the moon. It's so incredible. I highly recommend this exhibit. Definitely go check it out if you are able. It's five o'clock, so it's a great time to go back to Camp Snoopy and take the kids on some rides. They can't wait because the lines really go down in the evening time. Some of the rides the kids can just walk on and it's really fun for them. And it's really nice for us adults to just chat and chill while the kids run around and have fun. Hi ladies. I got a little bit dizzy, but it was fun. I have a pass as a Knott's ambassador and then my friends also got passes. It's really nice when you and your friends have annual passes because Knott's can be a place where you just meet up. Honestly, a pass is such an amazing value because you pay for one pass what you would pay for maybe two, three days inside the park. And that gets you into every single seasonal event at Knott's Berry Farm, all of the shows, all of the experiences. The only exception is not Scary Farm. Raleigh and I are just here for the day, but our friends are staying at the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel. So they decided to go to the Ghost Town Grill for dinner. And Raleigh and I said our goodbyes because we're pretty tired. I'll probably go to In-N-Out on the way home because they do have celiac safe dinner options. Their fries are completely gluten-free. You can get um, a hamburger protein style gluten-free and they have sugar-free lemonade. So that's definitely our California fast food go-to whenever we travel. And then you guys, um, on the way out, Raleigh and I were so thrilled because we found something that we have been looking for 
all year. I don't know if you have seen one of these before, but it's a Snoopy hat. And when you press the little pause, the ears go up and down and it's super cute. So I was seeing people in the park with this Snoopy hat all day. While we were with our friends inside of Camp Snoopy, I decided I would go look inside the Camp Snoopy store for this Snoopy hat. They didn't have any, but they did call over to Virginia's gift shop for me. And at that point in the day, the Snoopy hat was sold out. I was so bummed. But then on our way out, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna try over at the Peanuts headquarters. Peanuts headquarters is like the Peanuts merchandise flagship and i thought you know i'm just gonna try you never know they might have them Holly's gonna sleep she's exhausted but i just have to tell you we found one of the snoopy hats with the flapping ears i think they unbox these today and they're definitely gonna sell out by the end of night omg i got one of the last snoopy hats of the day raleigh thinks it's hers but low-key it's mine look at how cute this is with the little paws i am so so excited. Ah! I've been looking for this for an entire year. You guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon in Super Cali Land. Bye. <laughs>